So Destiny decided to crumble over cookies. Cookies going into Gaza. Now, this is only just a small segment that was on CounterPoints with Ryan and Emily. Uh, Because Destiny was in a debate. And as we all know what's happening in Gaza, there is uh, many examples of war crimes being committed. Men, women, children starving to death. Uh, we have seen how Gaza, how 80 to 90 percent of Gaza has been turned into a moonscape. As it stands right now, the death toll of men, women and children, innocent men, women and children being shot at, blown up by the IDF. The number keeps on rising up, 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 up and up. Reporters are being shot at. First aid workers being shot at. I mean, it's madness and insanity. But destiny, destiny, the great master debater of our time crumbles over cookies. Well, gee, Kit, what are you talking about? Well, apparently, Destiny did not have the force on his side, and he crumbles over cookies. You'll find out why. Israeli yeah, media makes things up. When, when the population has always had a that, calorie surplus. Yeah, even even um, the diet part. Calorie surplus. Yeah. They literally yeah. have. That's why yeah. when the famine started, when all the people were moved, yeah. um, I believe it was UNRWA that made the statement that this is a region that has See, never experienced that's, hunger before. That's, 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 so, that's what's so infuriating. Well, that's, and that's, that's also why Finkelstein got mad, because if you yeah, try yeah. to say, really, wait, these people are starving? By no, what metric? You that's, can't find that's what's so infuriating, Stephen, is that you want to start counting calories and try to discover whether they have a surplus or or not. When you're missing the fact that Israel getting to decide what food gets into Gaza is itself outrageous. Right. Is One yes, they're talking about what food can get in and be given to the people in Gaza. OK, now, look. I don't know how I would act if I was denied food for weeks, water for weeks, basic comforts for weeks, months on end. I don't know how I would act. I'd like to think I would at least have the mental fortitude to stay together, to keep it together. I don't know, but I do know this. What is happening to the people in Gaza is inhumane. They're dying of starvation. And I'm pretty sure all of us would react the same way, too. And if they and the people who we see running to those food trucks, probably they're the only ones strong enough and able enough to quickly grab a bag of food or flour or rice and quickly bring it to their loved ones who are too weak to move. One people does be, not get to control yeah. whether another side gets mm -hmm. to have cookies for their children and you know or what? potato chips or sodas. You don't get to do that. That's yeah, a level that of dominance and oppression that is unacceptable. Have, but you're not capable of having it because you won't even admit why the blockade exists. So you don't even deserve to be in What do you want him to admit? What you well, Destiny, Destiny, take, take, take it easy. Take it easy. All right? Because wait, wait, wait till you hear his big brain, his big brain statement about why there should be no cookies, no cookies in Gaza, no cookies, no cookies for you. I want what, to admit. Why, did, why yeah, is okay, there a blockade you tell me. in Gaza? Yeah, you, no, you tell, tell me. me. Why is there a blockade in Gaza? When you look at the fact that Israel is preventing cookies from going into Gaza, you know that it's not motivated Why were cookies military. being prevented from going in? And, and what were custom rockets fueled with? Yeah, with cookies? cookies? Yeah, with, with sugar and, fruit and is, fertilizer. Yes, that's how they yeah, made so, the early so rockets. You heard that. The cookies with the sugar Mixed in with fertilizer. Now, look, hey, listen, we all have, we all want to be amateur scientists and chemists here and there, but I think at this point, no one has time to do that. People want, want food, but the reason why there's no cookies going in is because they can be broken down and the sugar can be used as fuel for rockets. If you missed it, let's do a YouTube rewind time and we'll play it again one more time. So does you don't get to do that. That's yeah, a level that of dominance and oppression that is unacceptable. Have, but you're not capable of having it because you won't even admit why the blockade exists. So you don't even deserve to be in. What do you want him to admit? What do you want him to admit? Why did why yeah, is okay, there a you blockade tell me. in Gaza? Yeah, you, no, you tell, tell me. me. Why is there a blockade in Gaza? When you look at the fact that Israel is preventing cookies from going into Gaza, you know that it's not motivated. Why were cookies being prevented from going in? And, and what were custom rockets fueled with? Yeah, with, with cookies? cookies? Yeah, with, apparently. With sugar and, and is, fertilizer. Yes, that's how they yeah, made so, the early so rockets. So we're going to deny, so we're deny Palestinians in Gaza sugar because it might be used. You know what First of all, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, destiny. That was... Fuck you, man. Okay? Cookies? People can't get cookies now? People can't be treated with dignity and respect because, what, the, the, the cookies will be broken down, made into rocket fuel? No. Let's continue on. E e even even Ryan Graham is looking at him like, dude, what? And Emily's like, ugh. I, 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 I don't know if Destiny bathes or not, but she's got that look like, oh, this guy smells. 
Oh, he's not allowed back in because he's more sophisticated, right? You might know. But again, he's not going to admit it. I just want to be clear. Another time. Another thing you're not going to admit. Why does the blockade exist? It's literally just because of the evil Jews trying to kill the Amalek. Hamas fighters breathe air too. Maybe Israel can restrict air from going into Gaza to make sure that. But he's saying then the burden should be on Hamas not to use. No. Wait. Wait a minute. So what? Hamas is going to come in and be like, give me your Oreos and your chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> that, that's what Hamas is going to do. They're just going to jump on down like a Saturday morning cartoon, take the cookies from the kids, be like, we're taking your cookies now. <laughs> laugh, into the, laugh off into the shadows. We're not in the worst timeline. We're just in the most disappointing timeline. There's a difference between the two. Okay? A huge difference. Palestinians it's, have no agency. No, no, just no. The, rape no. Is, the, is the language of the you, oppressed. You don't, like, they can't help you themselves, don't punish I guess. And I'm the racist one? Get at military ones. You don't punish civilian. De De Destiny, Destiny. No, no, no one called you that. But even Ryan, pausing Ryan right there, is like, oh, my God, why do I have this guy on my show? And how many Red Bulls did you have, Destiny? In population like indiscriminately get, shooting tens of uh, thousands of rockets decade after decade into israel like what scale, hamas does the scale of israeli the population, violence. like 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 selling some of the humanitarian food back yeah, to the population no, I just want to make sure digging up tunnels of, of of water pipes and using them to fashion rockets just want to make sure heard, all the international okay, hey, aid Steven, comes in and building you, tunnels and tunnels did you steven did you say yeah. that hamas is turning cookies into missiles my understanding is that is that the reason said? for the um the reason for the restricting of sugar-based products was that the first generation i think they were called Qasem rockets were built in really crude shops using combinations of fertilizer and sugars that they would use Do you this know what the primary up. component of uh, hamas what hamas explosives is now uh i think i'm pretty sure now they use more sophisticated stuff but i don't know what you tell me unexploded israeli bombs because they've <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, so wait, so that means the U.S. taxpayer who helps create these missiles and bombs that get sent to Israel that are shot to God, so those that don't explode because, hey, the U.S. doesn't make any good quality stuff anymore, made in USA, right? Remember that used to mean something? They don't explode. That means Hamas takes them and shoots them right back into Israel. <laughs> so the U.S. is shooting into Israel. Ha! Ah! That's what you call a good Uno reverse card. What the fuck? We huh? dropped so many I, over the I last that's decade. I doubt that's true. Uh, I'm that, sure they do. With, a 10, to 20, it, with a 10 to 20 percent failure rate, Hamas then digs them up. The the Yassin 105s that uh, that you see, uh, you know, blowing up all these Israeli tanks. I'm sure there are some primarily fueled by Israeli use, explosives, but I doubt the majority of them are. But there's there's but I'm talking some amount. It's, but it's also again, mystery. just to reiterate, not, more, not, more so than cookies. You're not going to tell you why. Okay, so hold on. This is the great cookie debate of our time. Where's bad cookies at? When you there he is. I see bad cookies right there. Bad cookies. You're famous now. Shame on you, my subscriber. Shame on you and your bad cookies. Do doing evil in the world. And don't worry. I'm gonna shine a light on you, buddy. Javier says getting owned by Ryan Grimm is quite sad. Yeah, sad. Hold on. Got to do my Trump impression. Sad. Very, very sad. It's not good. Not great. Let's see. Uh, Automatic Selector says, is Boeing making bombs now? Oh, dude. Dude, god damn, man. Shoot. Shoot, man. And hold on. Bad cookies writes, and I think you're responsible for all the problems with the cookies now. Destiny didn't read it on the wiki. <laughs> it's des it's destiny's <laughs> destiny. You 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 have enraged the bad cookie. I'm gonna tell you why I'm going to tell you why exists. I'm gonna tell you why the blockade exists. Okay. And the reason, by the way, why it includes banning cookies and soda pop Keep and potato that. chips. Yes, the yeah, Oreos yeah, aren't the, going into the gun. Yes, no, I'm sure it's it's very funny denying children the ability to eat chocolates and toys because they are Palestinian and not Israeli. That's just so incredibly incredibly bones, trivial. Yeah. Yes. Incredibly oh, trivial. The emotional and, and and potato chips. It's working. Just it's we're two we're two yes. more virtue signals away from You're, free Palestinian people. Keep going. Yes. It's you trivializing. If it was the other way around, if Hamas was imposing a siege on Israel, which is really children yeah. are not allowed to do any of that stuff mm -hmm. you would not be sitting here making making a lot of it it would not be trivial to you because you understand that israelis are human beings and their children deserve to eat potatoes potato chips jewish people, they, you I'm do sorry, hold on you do jewish people live in arab countries around the world 
I don't Curious. know what the number is. Hold on, hold on. When we talk about is, the knockbot and the expulsion the, of Jake. Emily, Emily is paused there thinking like, oh my God, I'm supposed to side. I, I don't know if it's like Ryan Graham and this guy versus Emily and Destiny. But Emily, you better you better start thinking, hmm, how can I separate away from this? Em, Emily's right now there pondering. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Thank you. Thank how you many for Jews the lived in the West Bank after 48? Thank you, thank you for the deflection. Answer, let, I let him, deflect. I'm just answering your... your, your let your, him answer about why the blockade exists. He's not. He's got to do the, the 52 different talking points The blockade points exists. Oh, my God. Okay. The blockade exists because they want to punish the civilian population in Gaza as a okay. means of putting pressure on Hamas. They're saying as long as we have a government in Gaza that does not play ball with Israel the way the Palestinian Authority plays ball with Israel in the West Bank, the civilian population is going to suffer as a means of putting pressure on them and getting somebody else to, to be in power. The evidence for that is overwhelming. Children's toys were not allowed in at the beginning of the blockade. And when Israel came under intense pressure under the flotilla, after the flotilla incident, a bunch of activists tried to basically force medicines to be delivered into so Gaza. On the flotilla on, incident, on, there on were of two ships. of five of the ships were empty, yeah. and they were uh, aggressive ships that were designed to fight yeah. against the IDF when they landed. Do you realize yeah, that know, footage is available? There's a hundred some people on the deck with chairs throwing Israeli soldiers oh, overboard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and when they shift weapons and everything too. They shift weapons. Wow. Yeah, just, yeah just, I know. Well, that was yeah. all they could bring from Turkey with them, yeah, I guess, because yeah. they were inspecting the boats. But yeah, um, yeah. How, those how, were not peaceful activist ships. And if you read any of the reports, if you open more than a Finkelstein book and read what actually happened or watch any of the footage that actually happened. Were on that actually, flotilla. Were, I they, were well. they part of the fighters? Yes. Or what, were they? Listen to yourself. Listen well, to listen yourself. Listen to myself. What? You can watch the video. Destiny, Destiny, you're crumbling like a bad cookie. No pun intended to bad cookie, my outstanding viewer. But Jesus Christ, he's crumbling. He's crumbling all over. He's all over the place. How many Red Bulls did this boy have? There were people who, yes, fought back when Israel bordered their ship in an act of piracy in Wait, international waters. Wait, why did waters. Israel border the ship? Because they to don't want the ship to get to Gaza. There, <laughs> there you go. Because about? there's a blockade, and because they announced they don't you get need to, to announce, stop. They don't get to impose that blockade. They absolutely do. No, no more than Hamas gets to impose a blockade on Israel. This is ridiculous. Of course, they don't get to decide okay. what ships could get to go. Omar is saying, by the end here, he's he, saying that the blockade exists because yes. Jews are evil. To no, he's no, saying no, they're no, intentionally. That's, that's, that's a despicable thing to say. Really? I'm not saying anything about Jews. I'm talking about the Israeli government policy. What? Being you can't. Okay, I'm curious. We listen. You could be critical of a government and not the people, okay? You could be critical of the politicians. There's a big difference, Destiny. But he's all over the place. And, and mind you, again, the real sad truth, people are starving there in Gaza. How many more need to die? And now military operations happening in Rafah? Home to 1.5 million refugees right now? You know, I, 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 I held out for hope that maybe... Maybe there would be some kind of a ceasefire, but you know, hope in one hand and crap in the other. See which one fills up faster. So Second Intifada, were submersibles or weapons brought in via that uh, you, via the water into the Gaza Strip? Did that happen? What are you talking? Say that one more time. Were there weapons that were shipped into the Gaza Strip via the Mediterranean? And plenty of weapons were shipped into Israel as well. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so, interesting there, so, there, so there was, so there were things. You wait, think wait, one so side think gets the to dominate the other. Why is it that Egypt has been a partner with Israel in that blockade you, since you, its inception as well? I've already explained to you why the Egyptian government is interested in oh, restricting any Oh, because for 20 years kind of they've just been an evil. Yes. Okay, okay. Everybody is, is a, this is, it's, this is consistent at least with the history that everybody is collaborators with the West and, 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 and uh, governments that are just yes, yes, Israel has hypnotized the world. Of course they are. Even the Egyptian dictators are everybody, yes. Who else are they collaborating? Who else are they collaborating? I just want to say there's one thing that I think is really, really important. Okay. This, you know, just saying the Jews are evil. It's such a despicable line. And let me explain why. Anti-Semitism is a very, very serious and rising problem in the country, in many other places around the world, and especially in the Trump years. We've seen these shootings that have happened at synagogues and everything like that. Not and, in the Middle East, always been at and 100%. You have, and you have <laughs> a situation in which Israel's defenders constantly try to conflate those things, is that you ignore the fact that there is a significant portion of the progressive young American Jewish population that is opposed to Israeli policies. And every time you criticize Israeli policy, people say, oh, you're attacking Jews. And that's exactly what you just did. And it's not just harmful to people like me who get smeared by that accusation, mm -hmm. completely baseless and, and really ugly and, and detestable. It's probably more but true it's than also, we know, I think. But yeah. That's, yeah. Of Omar? Thank Hopefully, you. Yeah, thank, so. thank you. Thank you for that. that. Wow. So Destiny, you're, you're making an accusation of somebody calling them anti-Semitic when that's not what they're doing. You could be critical of a government. It's okay to be critical of the Israeli government. And I've seen many people of different faiths, 
different religion, different skin color, and yes, even across the political spectrum, criticizing Israel. What Destiny is doing here is a failure in debating. He's indicating that the person that he's talking to and making an accusation about them, that is something that is not true at all. Emily, Emily, listen, you, you have a few seconds left in this video to, to maybe claw and dig your way out of this. Let's see what you got. That's so wonderful speculation. Um, but it's also actually harmful to Jewish communities themselves that are trying to protect themselves from anti-Semitism to constantly trivialize that charge that you throw it around at anybody who is critical of Israeli policy, anybody who thinks that Palestinians are human beings who deserve to have rights, you water that charge down so much when you let it all around that real anti-Semites get more room to breathe and operate because that charge doesn't mean anything. So even if you enjoy smearing people like me and people who defend Palestinians, that's fine. But if you have any part of you that actually cares about Jewish people in this country, I would strongly advise you to stop throwing that smear around at people. Because okay. okay, I'll do my virtue signal since you did yours. Um, yeah, and... That's a perfect pause for Emily right there thinking, yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> Hold on, let's see if we get a clearer picture of that. Hold on. Good. Okay, Oops. I'll do my virtual signal since you did yours. <laughs> <laughs> the look on her face is priceless. You stand next to a guy who says, uh, yeah, no cookies into, into Gaza. The, the children of Gaza. Get, get no cookies, no Oreos, no chocolate chips, hell, no Twinkies, no Snicker bars. They get no Coca-Cola, ice cold. How about correction on this one? Because if you're going to drink a good old Coca-Cola, get the Mexican style ice cold Coca-Cola with that real sugar cane in it. Okay. Ice cold style. Oh. <sighs> reason why I played that clip, reason why I shared it with you guys is because we have to see just how sad our entire media system is where we're still having this debate about food not getting into Gaza, okay? And this has been an ongoing problem because Israel controls the blockade, all right? Israel controls what gets in to Gaza, what gets out of Gaza. Gaza is an open-air prison. Men, women, children are starving. I don't like seeing this imagery. I don't like seeing the horrific imagery of families crying over a loved one lost or either that seeing a single family member survive while they're surrounded by their dead by their dead relatives, their dead family members surrounding them. You got to be human here. What's wrong with a chocolate chip cookie going into the hands of a Palestinian kid? What's wrong with them at least having some joy and comfort just for a little bit in a world that has gone mad? You know, today's May 4th, you know, where, you know, the, the whole story about Star Wars standing up against an evil empire. The good guys winning the day, saving the day. But the truth is, that's a story. Something to make us feel good and smile upon. The reality is, we live in a world that is gray, grim, and depressing. It doesn't have to be this way. A little humanity can go a long way. But uh-uh. I guess no cookies for the people or kids of Gaza. Because that's just a bridge too far. You hitting those home runs, Destiny. Enjoy the Wikipedia. <laughs>